thermal sound wave wave thermal sound waves the natural alternative to hey. fast food radio track life radio wlgk uh-huh. that's what it is see truth kevin lawrence we here yeah um, with another special guest that's that's joining us in studio and one that we have on the line right now um he goes I'm the phone. hold on hold on what's, what's going on over there what's going on over there is he all right are you okay i'm okay what's call help on? call help <laughs> oh, hold on. We hear a lot of noise in the background over He's there. running. He's running. He's hey, running. man. Hey, this, it's a moving situation. It's a moving situation. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's not positive. <laughs> man, it's Mr. It's Mr. Make It Happen. It's Mr. <laughs> Mr. What your man got to do with me. <laughs> Mr. I'm not having it. And right about now, he's also known as Mr. Exclusive. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, now you all know out there, we got Positive K joining us right now on the program. Thermal sound waves, that's Veteran. what it is. How you doing, Positive K? Hey, I can't complain, man. Everything is good, man. You know, um, um, I'm just towing the line, baby, doing what I do with this hip-hop game. And, and it just feels good, man, to be out here, man, with new product and new stuff. And, and everybody's resonating. It just feels good. Absolutely. Exclusive. All the way. All the way. Now... In addition, we're we, we going to get to your, your new join and, and the, the new things you've been doing as far as he's getting out the car. Yeah, he's, he's, he's running. He's running. Somebody's chasing him. No, that's the door. That's Somebody's the door. chasing that's the door, him. Man. <laughs> that's the door. That's you, the, guys, you guys can hear that? We can hear everything. Somebody's you're chasing sounding, him. You're sounding real crazy uh, right now. We're hearing everything uh, that you're man. doing. <laughs> I got things moving around. I we have moving pieces in here, man. Moving pieces. <laughs> but, um, you know, let's, let's, let's get to what you've been doing with um, – Serious with uh, LL Cool J, Rock the Bells. You, you, you still on week weekly weekdays? I should say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I had to take a little break for a minute because um, number one, I'm, a hi- I'm on hiatus because of uh, uh, my mother is very ill. I'm a caregiver. Oh, okay. So okay. yeah, yeah, beautiful, yeah, beautiful. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I just, hey, man, I've been doing it for a very long time, and it's kind of like you know the situation is, is a little bit more serious than. That I anticipated. So, um, yeah. Rock the Bells, Rock the Bells is very, very, very sincere and very sensitive to my situation. So they allowed me to come on back and say, "Hey, man, take care of your people." And when you come on back, we get back in, we get back into the movie, the mix of things, you Absolutely. know. So, um, yeah, but the show's from one to four, and it's called Stand Up with Positive K. It's a very humorous show, and um, it's still on demand. So if you want to go check it out, go check it out. But um, you know, we um, I'll be back shortly, man. Uh, my mother's gonna have a real speedy recovery. I'm, I'm I'm hoping that she will. And um, until then, I'm just here being and being the son that I am. Absolutely, Godspeed, Godspeed on that. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, uh, how did that come about? Did LL reach out to you to to come aboard to do that? Like, how did that whole situation come? <laughs> yeah, LL reached out to me, man. Um, you know, you know, it, it, it's great to number one to be to to, to have somebody like the goat. And you don't know, call him the goat for nothing. The dude is incredible, man. The guy is like, he's like high energy 24 hours of the day. I don't know where he get his energy from. <laughs> Farmer's Boulevard. He's, he's, he's all, yeah, he, from, he, you know, he must have ate the rock on Farmer's Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that rock. Uh, yeah, that's a real rock, people. You know, that's that know rock. That. No, yeah, that's the, the Farmer's Boulevard rock. Yeah, he um he got he's on he's on like ten to ten and a half every every day. Nah, okay, you know hours every day. Okay, you know what that is? That's the NCIS um yeah. residual. That's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that hey, is. Listen. Oh, maybe when, the shark when, residual. When you see him, tell him it's that NCIS residual that he he <laughs> working off of. It might be that deep blue sea residual too. Even though I never I never watched it, never will neither. But it might be the deep blue sea. <laughs> Hey, listen, if you're getting the checks like LL is getting, man, I guess you'll you, you be on 10 too, right? Oh, <laughs> I'll be, be on 20. Be, be <laughs> I'll be on 30. I'll be yeah, on 20. Yeah. yeah, yeah, big shout to LL. Matter of fact, they, 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 they're in for their, for, I think, what season is it now? That, uh, I don't know, 100, 7, think, 10, season 100? 10, something, I don't know. They, they're in for like a lot of like 25 seasons they, they, they've had now since since then. That show's been on forever. Yeah. And if, you it, look, if you think about it, it's been on forever. It's, it goes, I think it's as long as uh, Ice, Ice T with Law and Order. And he's been on Law and Order for over 20 years. Yeah. Well, so, they, they're not, they're not going to top Law and Order. When the world ends nah. and there's nothing left but like cockroaches, the cockroaches are going to be around watching Law and Order. Cockroaches and- <laughs> they're going to be watching sound. Law and Order. They want that sound. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Hey, listen, yes. Ice-T was on Law & Order when he still had the ponytail. How about that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Big, Absolutely. You know what? Big shout out to Eric B, because Eric B is on Blue Bloods. 
<laughs> he's on there now? Yeah, he's going to be the detective on Blue Bloods. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's dope. Oh, big shot. <laughs> but you know what, though? Let me, let me tell you something. Eric B. has just found his niche because he's one of the coldest dudes. He, you know, he's going to be cold on Blue Bloods, trust me. Oh, yeah. Eric B., Eric B. hasn't smiled since since 84. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. That is correct. And you know. You that's know. <laughs> No said, what's up, B? Yo, you know, I'm a perky up guy. People can't help but smile when I come into the room. Right. Said, what's up, B? What's up, positive? And I see him holding <laughs> it. He's holding it like he was, uh, he was getting ready to break. I said, come on, B, let it go. He's like, <laughs> he's like you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you went from president. You went from president to now detective yeah. on Blue Bloods. Yeah, yeah. No doubt, yeah, no big shout to Eric D, man. Absolutely. Eric, 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 yeah. yeah, big ups to, to all the OGs, man, doing their thing, you know, getting that success and, and, and getting that crossover. That, that's a great thing and you to know, say. And, you know, it's not over, man. You know, it's, it's all about evolution. It's all about coming around and doing doing new things yeah. and, um, and, and and stepping up, man. You know, I mean, I do a lot of things outside of that also, out of the radio, doing new songs and stuff and performing and doing tours. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of things that we're doing out here. Now, everybody, everybody's a Involved doing new stuff. Right. I mess with a little stand up comedy. I do a little stand up comedy, and, and 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 I've been with a lot of heavyweights as of lately doing that, and I've been having fun with it, man. It's just oh. the energy is almost the energy is the most the same as is um as performing live because because it's just you and the microphone. You can't you can't rely on nothing else. I mean, it's a little bit more colder than than than, than rhyming. Cause at least you got the beat, you know. Right. But it's just you. It's just you and the microphone. But the the reward when it, when somebody laughs, it's it's crazy. The energy is almost the same as it tearing 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 the spot down. Right. What what made you want to step into that arena of stand up comedy? And, and she like she pushed me for it because you know I mean <laughs> you know and listen, you know it's hard as a rock. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> and paper thin too. And so. she's still not having it. That's correct. We back, we back on that rock again. Huh? Yeah. We back yeah. You know what I have? Big shout to MC Light because she was on the <laughs> the series Queen of the South. SWAT. And SWAT. Yeah, and SWAT. And SWAT. Yeah. A lot of artists yeah. are turning into uh, well, she was she was doing that. Yeah, she she was doing that a long time though. Like yeah. she she saw it yeah. on half and half, like like Yeah, but she's 90s, no joke. In Queen of the South, that series, she's no joke. <laughs> Shout out to Jamie Hector on that too. So, so, so MC Light got you into um, stand up comedy. Yeah, well, you know, basically it comes from if everybody knows about it, man, going on the road with um with Big Daddy Kane on them tours back in the day when he used to bring uh, Jay Z, Jay Z, and myself out. Let me tell you something: if you didn't know how to crack a joke, you know what I'm saying on a tour bus, you was you was in trouble. You know, so that was a <laughs> shout out to Scoob and Scrap Love. Yeah, they were fools, but let's just say I was very good at it. When I got off the bus, everybody wanted to fight me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> everybody wanted to fight Jay. It was, Jay wasn't talking no more. <laughs> <laughs> man, yo, man, you play too much. <laughs> Are you, are you okay? I, I got into it with Kane one time that day, before yeah. um, Kango's birthday party. I forget where the spot was. It was but like, he got he got real mad at me. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> I, I, actually, I actually thought he was gonna, y'all was gonna fight. He got. But real, I saw Scoob and he laughed it out. I said something about his his, his purple print suit. Okay, he got he got, oh, <laughs> he got real mad. Oh, you, 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 hey, listen, you ain't messed with the purple, did you? I did. Hey. I did. Kane. Oh yeah, he go. He, he take he take that purple serious. He man. do. He do. Kane, Kane, yeah. Kane take that purple serious. Like, especially back then, man. <laughs> we had um we had purple tour jackets in Chocolate City. They was purple, man. They was purple <laughs> like a dark chocolate purple <laughs> kind of a jacket. And I'm like, I said, hey man, hey, I ain't got I got to pay for it, do I? He's like. <laughs> I got a paper. I'm a rocket. I'm a rocket. You know, I ain't gonna buy. I ain't gonna buy no jacket for the for the next for the next thirty cities. <laughs> <laughs> now hold on, everybody out there, please. We either know Big Daddy Kane or we affiliated with him. So if you don't know him, do not do that to him because he still oh, has a. Uh, a familiar entourage. Yeah. Leave it like that. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. He gonna call me tomorrow. Hey, look here, man. Uh, I heard you, man, on the radio, man. You know. Hey, look here, man. You know. Uh... <laughs> shout, shout to Kane. Shout to little daddy Shane. Shout out to the family. I mean, like, I mean, like, do you have to talk like? Do you gotta talk like Jim Brown? He, he does. He does. Kane. <laughs> 
<laughs> you got to talk like <laughs> Nah, that's my brother. I can do that. I can do that. I, oh, only, yeah. I can do that. I'm, I'm, yeah. That's how it is. You know, I could. But back to the comedy, that's how it got done because I would let dude have it to the whole way. I, Mr. C don't talk to me no more, period, because of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> why? Did you say, did, did, just, hold yeah, on. Yeah, because his room, his room used to smell like death. His room used to smell like death. We used to have to go, we, we, we used to have to go downstairs to, to, to rehearse our show for the night and Mr. C was the DJ and be like, yeah, but well, nobody want to go down there. Like, nah, me and Jay was like, listen, we know what we got to do. What you going to drop? And he's like, nah, you got to go on the case. You got to go rehearse it. <laughs> so is it because of 14th Street? I don't know where it was, but like he had dead bodies under his bed or something. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> A lot, moving, of, a lot of dead boys. A lot of okay, dead boys. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going into that one. Yeah, man. yeah. Listen, go, go you already did. Yeah, you already did. But, hey, it is what it is. Hey, listen. Um, but back, back me right back at the ranch. Um, you know, it goes down that you know we was on the bus and it, it was just very. And you had to be thick skinned to be on there. And you know, and I'm the guy that always would mess with people. And you know, like like you did Kane's type of suit. And and life is like it would be a travesty if you don't get on stage and, and try some comedy. So right. she, she says, I dare you just to write like two minutes and go on your pen pull a joke for two minutes. You know, and the first she said, write two minutes. So I wrote like about maybe about 10. And she said, I dare you to go, I dare you, I dare you. So I reached out to um to some, some comedian friends of mine and whatnot. And, and they gave me the nod like, yo, that shit is stupid. And, and next thing I know, um, uh, I was out doing, doing, doing some, get some minutes in. And they see, you know, people were like, yo, man, I was incorporating a little, you know, doing the show along with the comedy, and it was like, that's crazy. And they let me get down with the hip, uh, the mix, uh, hip hop, uh, a comedy, mixtape shows. And next thing I know, talent called me one time for some shows. A lot of people started calling me for some shows, and then, you know, next thing I know, I started doing, I started getting some little gigs and, and actually performing and doing some of that, man, you know? You know, matter of fact, it's just about comedy. We got somebody here also in the studio with us uh, by the name of Elise Fellman. And she works with uh, what's Royal Watkins. Royal Watkins. Yeah. Okay. For the mixtape comedy special. Yeah, over there at um, Gotham Comedy Club. Gotham Comedy. Yeah, that's dope, man. I haven't been there yet, but I know um, Anthony Anderson was trying to get me down there when they were doing the mixtapes. He wanted me to get down there to, to pop right. in. And, um, and um, yeah, he's real dope, you know. And he always, you know, <laughs> he's, he's a funny guy just to, just to get advice from. He's like, okay. I was like, that's funny. That's funny. He was like, okay, okay. Shout out to his Anthony Anderson and his show, uh, Blackish. Yeah, dope show, dope show. Great comedian, and uh, he's a better break dancer. He is a, a comedian. So I was a big shot. Hold up, but K, did did you get advice from? From the, the skinny Anthony Anderson or, or the cupcake that is yeah. Anthony Anderson. That's a very good assessment, uh, Twinkie. I called him. The I called him. I called him. I called him on the cuffs. He was dieting, but he was binge eating at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> How do you diet and on, binge uh, eat at the same yeah, time? Yeah, because you diet so much you can't take it no more, so you break it. You just eat the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> So I call him on the cuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Either way it goes, it's great advice. Either that's that's when you advice. eat a double oil cake and you chase it down with a smoothie. How you chase it down with a smoothie? No, 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 no. A diet coke. Yeah, a diet coke. <laughs> to make you feel good. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know what? Big so, shout to you, Positive K, because a lot of people don't know doing stand up is, is very it's different from like just telling jokes to your friends or. Right, it's no, 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 no. Very, very hard. I've bombed in some of the best places, man. Believe me, you know what I'm saying. You don't know, you don't know what it is to do stand up until you tell, until you really, really put your right foot forward, and nobody says nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you get the crickets. You kind of like the most. I wish they would boo me. They don't say it, and I feel like, oh, really? Yes, are y'all really getting down tonight? You know. Uh, are they cutting the Hennessy again? Y'all ain't wanna laugh, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm oh, man. That was crazy, man. Yeah, it's rough, man. But um, it's rewarding though. When you do get the laugh, ah, uh, man, it's 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 like crack. You can't stop, man. You just can't stop. Exactly. It's thermal sound waves and natural alternative to fast food radio. Hey. We're here with positive K. You know what I mean? Hey. Positive knowledge, Allah. You know what I mean? For those that in the day know. To day. <laughs> And uh, hit us up, 347-454-1278. Email us, thermalsoundwave to gmail.com. You know, we, we, we're we going to make that plug happen for you to, to get over there at Gotham Comedy Club. That'd be dope. That'd be dope. When I come back to New York, that'd be dope. Matter of fact, when I was there doing um doing serious, 
uh, I was going to, I was going to pop in, but uh, the, the the schedule was so crazy because I was flying out every weekend coming back, you know, to keep the care for my mother, and I didn't have any time to really do it. But um, I'm going to be down here at the punchline, I think, someplace in the Georgia about next week. So I'm going to pop in and get myself some time in, and you know, and um, rock with some of my dudes. I'm down with a lot of great comedians, Rodney Perry, um, um, um. Big up yeah, to Rodney Perry, my my man Marvin Hunter, uh, Zoo Man Miller who goes out with uh, with Cat Williams. I'm down with a lot of a lot of big great comedians, man. That really kind of like school me and let me know what's going on. So they they raised the bar real high. So I, I feel good being in that company. Absolutely, yeah. Well, when you get back to New York, just you know, make sure you you, you check in and we're gonna make that happen for you because you know at least that, that's that's a monthly good. joint for that um, Gotham joint. So oh, I'm coming in there. I'm coming in, baby. I'm coming in, man. Absolutely. Now. You were someone who also, you know, dabbled in some movies as well. Why didn't you continue on with that? Um, you know, I was just really at the point in time when I when I when I when I messed with the movie stuff, I was just trying to knock some dust off my sad card. And then I just got my sad card. And I was like, let me put some, put some, put some, let me get it activated. You know what I'm saying? Let me get some work in. Right. But um, it's not the first. I really landed all the major roles in in all the the movies. Um, Denzel, uh, not Denzel. Um, Forrest Whitaker had me in for Strap. <laughs> when he did Sticky and Fred Joe and him, I was going to be in Strap. Um, I got the role for Jersey Drive and Clockers. Wow. So I was supposed to be in all of those. But at the point in time, I had this management, and I would never listen to them again. Leo Coleman, Leo Cohen, Leo Cohen. Oh. <laughs> Man, right. I'd never listen to him again. See, he was, like, just, guy was, he was like, I can get you a better yeah. deal. We're going to get a good movie. It's just going to be for you. It'll be just for you. You don't need these parts. They're not going to make you look good. You're going to get a great role for yourself. Uh, so I thought when, um, when they did Jersey Drive, wow. I had the big role. I had the role in Jersey Drive. I believe it was uh, the Heavy D. Heavy D was in there, I think it was. Oh, yeah. Don't uh, mess with my crew. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was that was my role. That was supposed to be my role, and um, and they, they they called me, and they wanted me to give me the other role, and and they the management thought it was a disrespect, and and that's what it was, and it was crazy. But that that was the first role they offered to me, and then heavy guy, and they wanted to offer me something else. That was that was equivalent that was equivalent to it, and um, it just didn't wow. it didn't materialize. But I had lots of it, man. I was also supposed to host MTV Jams when uh, when Bill Bellamy left. Mm -hmm. I had that. They offered me the job for that. And he was like, it's too much exposure. It's too much exposure for you. Wow. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, this guy is really, it's, it's, he's trying so to you're overqualified. Or something's going on. When you go for uh, a job and a resume, so you're overqualified. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you're overqualified. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So, so, um, so I left it alone, man. I went on the own thing. But at that point in time, I had landed a lot of roles, and I was going on a lot of auditions. So we'll see what happens in the future as, as things go on right now. Because, like you said, a lot of things are good for a lot of people in my in my position. Absolutely. You you could have been um, Ice T on uh, Law and Order with the ponytail. Nah, I never had no ponytail. Hey, what's up? Like, this is positive. Hey, hey, I lie. Arm, oh, leg, 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 arm, head. <laughs> leg, leg, arm, oh, you know what I'm saying? Indeed, indeed. Knowledge, knowledge. You're arrested. You're under arrest. Knowledge, knowledge. You're under arrest. Knowledge, knowledge. You're under arrest. Knowledge, knowledge. You're under arrest. Word is born. Drop your gun. Word is born. Drop your gun. Yo, can I get out of jail? Can I get out of jail? Say, nah, 5%. <laughs> Word up, man. No doubt. But seriously. Yeah. The new joint. You got the new joint? Absolutely. Exclusive. We've been rocking that. That's right. Dope, dope. Good stuff. Good stuff. I appreciate it, man. Stay on top of that. Um, I got the... over my joint, just giving him see who's going to be on the remix. Um, so far, I got my man Snagglepuss, Freddie Fox. I have a man Teflon from MOP. He bodied it. They all caught body work, and I got some real exciting people. So stay tuned to my Instagram, all my social media, positive underscore K underscore. That's Instagram and Twitter. That's positive underscore K underscore. And look and tune in and see what's going on, man. And, you know, let me know what's happening. And I usually follow everybody as long as you got, like, a good social media picture up there. No, nothing crazy. You got your shirt off, fellas. I'm not following you back. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> you know what? Big shout out to Doop, DJ Doop, because that's the first time I heard Snagglepuss uh, and uh, Miss Unique and the whole crew, the whole bounce squad. That Wow, that goes back. Well, I'm going to tell, tell you a story. Um, I'm going to tell you a story, but then I got to go, fellas, because, you know, my, my thing here. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, 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 let me tell you a story. I was going to sign Snagglepuss. Snagglepuss is so dope. So Doop and I got down together, and um, we were gonna we were gonna 
put Snuggle Puss out together. So at the point in time, I had, I just dropped Night Shift. Um, I got my deal with Island Records, and I had two Rush R.A.L. deals, two Rush Associated label deals, and I was going to put Snuggle Puss out on one, right? So so it came down to it. Snuggle Puss was getting ready to go. They said leave and go with Tone and Poke over there with, with Trackmasters. And we and Duop was like, listen, we got to give him some money. We got to give him some bread because he's getting ready to leave. So I said, you, what, what, what we got to do? He said, well, you know, I'm not going to disclose the amount. He said, well, you got to give him something to hold him for a minute till we work the deal out. I said, cool, no problem. So I did that. So here I am. I'm on all the big shows, MTV, um, um, uh, uh, Live. I'm on Spring Breaks. I'm on all these big shows, all the BET shows. I'm talking about doo and the Bob Squad and also Jay-Z because me and Jay-Z were doing a, a joint venture at the time. One of his, matter of fact, his first joint venture. And... Uh, the deal went south because somebody told me that, that doo was shopping a deal to sign to get signed, and I'm like, well, me and doo got a deal for the Bounce Squad and, and, and Snaggle Puss. So when I found out, everything went south with me and doo and that's what happened, and, and everything fell apart. But I always loved um, um, the Bounce Squad, and I, always, I, had, I really thought that Snaggle Puss was going to be a real big star. So I was really going really to sign him. But um, everything just kind of went, went to the left and went sideways, and it just all fell apart. No doubt, definitely. Well, we, we thank you. We know you got to run, but we thank you for uh, taking some time out to, to be on the program, man. Everybody, make sure you support that new Positive K. You know what I mean? Make sure you get that. We're going to roll into that exclusive, as we do right here on Thermal Sound Waves. And when you're in New York, make sure you um, you know check in with us. We want to actually sit down with you face-to-face. And you know, hash out some things, and you know, have a proper, a proper talk. You know what I mean? I'm, oh, I'm coming in. I'm coming in there, man. And we gonna go to Gotham and get some hot wings. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, man. On Peace your bill, up, man. yes. On your Legend, bill. Legends, legends of an era always stick together. Ow! I'm yes, out. sir. Peace. Peace. It's Thermal Sound Waves, a natural hey. alternative to fast food radio, track life radio, WLGK. Thermal Sound Wave, wave.